चेंज in the lives of people she is the leadership counsel from usa we are lucky enough to get his learning and experiences she is none other than mrs suzy makre hello suzy ma'am we cordially welcome you here ah oh, well thank you so much what an introduction <laughs> i've been looking forward to this so i'm excited to be here and hopefully i can add some value uh to the people watching this thank you ma'am thanks for coming ma'am Ma'am, whenever I see you, I uh, I feel a uh, positive uh, positive vibes. Uh, even you uh, you warn the people in webinar, don't make screenshot, don't make recording. You with love, I, I feel very happy. <laughs> I feel, <laughs> you even you see uh, you uh, you uh, you warn the people with smile. I I, I like it very much. Thank you. Oh, well that's great. I I like to uh, I mean I enjoy doing this. I enjoy having fun and I like pe people to feel comfortable. Yes, yes. Sir. Ma'am, today yes. host the uh, the most capable girl uh, we have in on passive. She is the one who started ladies webinar in Pakistan and I have been guiding people in the short span of time after becoming becoming a founder. Uh, she is a working woman and currently working in an oil company as a manager i would like to call her to introduce herself and carry the discussion ahead hello miss lala miss lala hader khan from pakistan hi miss suzi hi wasim bhai how are you good hello. good hello uh, i'm so glad to see you here thank you for gracing us with your presence miss suzi and i had been looking forward to this day for so long um we have we have been in a discussion for calling you for a webinar or an interview and it took us so long um uh, due to some personal commitments or professional and then Ram ramadan came and we couldn't schedule an interview so i'm mm -hmm. so happy to see you here and um, wasim bhai has introduced me already and i would like to add something that i'm a working woman for more than 3 years now i'm currently i'm working in an oil marketing company as a manager and i joined on passive last year uh, but since then there was no looking back and uh, i have been learning throughout uh, this time and i i'm i'm just so happy to see you here <laughs> oh, well you know both of you are wonderful founders you know with your attitude and how you're engaged in this and you can really feel that you want to just help people that's wonderful thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much ms suzy um now we would like you to introduce yourself uh, where have you been working throughout these years what are your expertise and what are you currently doing okay well thank you so much i really appreciate you guys having me and i think i wore the right color for the background huh it kind of matches yeah. everything <laughs> that's important. yeah it's matching it's important matching. we all look sharp right because our business is going to the next level Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, I'm 61 years old. I live in the United States. I live in the state of Massachusetts. And early on in my career after college, um, I worked for a large supermarket change in our area, and uh, that was I started in the early 1980s, 1984, and I worked for them for 25 plus years. and the kind of work i did was that's when we were getting into computers going from people doing stuff on paper to computers a lot of new technology was coming in uh so what i what my role was is was i was called a technology trainer or a technology specialist and i had anywhere from 20 to 25 large stores 
that I would travel around to and I would help train people on new applications, on computers, I would help with scheduling, time in attendance, uh, ordering, all sorts of things, human resource processes, uh, opening new stores and getting people trained and ready for the new stores. And it was a wonderful, wonderful career. Um, all of the things I've learned, all of the wonderful people I was associated with. Uh, but after a certain time, I decided to make a change in my life. I had felt that I had uh, gotten to where I wanted to in that industry, and I shifted into healthcare. So I took a position, I left the supermarket industry and I took a position at our community hospital um, in the human resources development. And my title was learning and development specialist which sounds fancy, but it really isn't. And also I was um, in the a recruiter in the hiring process and part of the human resource team. And I did that for a few years. I enjoyed it. I helped training managers, uh, personal development, put in training programs, and also did a lot of recruiting, did employee satisfaction, patient satisfaction initiatives, and I learned so much. And towards the end of working at the hospital, I went out into the community and I was a manager. I managed primary care practices. So I had five or six doctor's offices in the community that were associated with the hospital. Once again, learning new technology, getting on an electronic medical record, having uh, new doctor's offices join us, help setting up things. I, I taught myself a lot about that, but also my background in the supermarket industry helped me with that. So I guess what you could say is, uh, what my expertise is, is uh, working with people, uh, helping people, training people, understanding that people are at different levels of um, what they know and what they need to learn. And um, one of the things I, I think I do very well is um, I help people feel comfortable if I'm um, teaching them something or learning something without them feeling um, that they, they aren't sufficient enough or that they don't know enough. I help make them feel comfortable. Um, I also help look at processes so that they can improve things. So uh, after that, I left, um, I left the corporate world and started doing some consulting work on my own. I worked with a couple small firms uh, doing some uh, hiring and recruiting and helping them with their businesses. And now I'm thoroughly involved with OnPassive, um, helping as many founders as I can across the globe uh, with their questions, with understanding things, supporting them, uh, whatever I can do to be helpful. That's the commitment I made to our CEO, Ash Mufara, when he asked us, asked me to be part of the leadership council. That's what I committed to. So I'm here today to do whatever I can um, to help you guys and uh, your teams or the people in Pakistan, whatever, whatever I can do to help. Thank you so much, Ms. Susie. That was a wonderful, wonderful introduction. And uh, I know that you have been helping people throughout the globe, all over the globe. And uh, Vaseem Bhai has introduced me uh, a lot about you. And he told me that how, um, how positive lady you are and how you are working through um, all the things to, uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, you, you hesitated a little, but we're good. We can hear you. Okay, okay.